It's time to kick off your shoes and let your hair down during WMPG's Bluegrass Music Festival and Arthur Nichols got a preview from station volunteer Merrill Marsh. So, Merrill, there is a bluegrass festival coming up soon. Yes, I'm very excited about it. It's our annual um, WMPG Bluegrass Spectacular. And the Spectacular. It's, yes, yes. We used to use it extravaganza and then spectacular, and so now we just we just said spectacular. So, so uh, how many? How long have you been doing this? Ten years. Ten so. years. Wow. Um, I started out as a, uh, a fundraiser for this radio station that Tom Flynn and I put together. He was an, a former DJ that moved to Minnesota, and uh, it, it was it was to be just a, lo a bunch of local bands that I happened to be friendly with and mm -hmm. say, let's go on stage and promote it for promote the. Uh, show for fundraising for WMPG. So bluegrass has gotten to be, uh, I mean, it's always been a popular genre, but it's uh, experiencing a lot of popularity now, isn't it? I think so because of the uh, teachers that are involved in, in, in 317 Maine where you can go and learn actually how to play bluegrass. So it expanded in the, in the, in the city pretty much through um, a lot of people jamming and picking together. So mm -hmm. it's, it's sort of a communal thing as well as a performance. Are you, are you a musician yourself? I play in the grass holes on occasion when they invite me. But uh, I, used, I started the band with, uh, in the back of uh, Buck Dancer's Choice. Sure, down on St. John Street. Right, yeah, yeah. right, with Carl Logan. And he uh -huh. dubbed us the grass holes. And since then we've been performing and... Uh, um, some people cringe at the name, other people get a chuckle out of it. Um, so, uh, are the Grassholes performing on, uh, at Longfellow Square? They, ha they will be. They've, they've done the, all ten shows, as well as the Jerks of Grass, oh, wow. which is Carter Logan's band. Uh -huh. um, and there will also be Tricky Britches, which is a band formed by a bunch of guys that we know, including Seth Doyle, who is a um, mandolin player, who used, uh -huh. was, was a former Grasshole. So, okay, so Grass Holes, Jerks of Grass, uh, Tricky bitch, Britches, and also you have a special guest that night. Right. We always like to invite the kids from 317. They really wow the crowd. It's usually a bunch of, of, of young, youngsters that have been jamming together on weekday afternoons, and this is their chance to do their first or maybe second performance in front of a live audience. So it's a great way to carry on the tradition. It's a wonderful way to carry on the tradition and to show what bluegrass music, how much it can help the community and help one to learn music. So where is this 10th annual spectacular? Well, it's, it, it's moved this year. It's going from um, the, um, hill, uh, the church on Munjoy Hill, St. Lawrence. It's now going to one Longfellow Square. And uh, it was a decision this year because it was the 10th one, and we wanted to get as many people involved as we possibly could. Sure, great. That's a great venue. Uh, uh, big enough, but uh, nice and cozy. Um, and so, uh, let's see. So it's at Longfellow Square. What day is it? It's on Monday, May 14th. It's always on a Monday after evening, so, it's, so it doesn't in inflict with all the other great music we have in uh, Portland area, and it starts at, the doors open at 6, and I think the show starts, the show does start at 6.30. And so there's a cover, I think, right? Uh, the, all the proceeds go to benefit WMBG, okay. and I believe the cover this year is $12. Great, that sounds good. So I know that this is not quite bluegrass, but do you know Chris Moore? Is he, uh, do you know who Chris Moore is? I don't. Okay, um, but uh, do you have other connections to the big world of professional bluegrass in um, Nashville? Um, the the jerks have um, are the ones that are really more in tune with uh, touring outside of the state and whatnot. Um, Tricky Britches is, is an up and coming band, which is really one of the things we like to promote. We've always the third the third act has always been sort of. Um, a new and upcoming act in in the Portland area. So those are the guys that will be that you're apt to see outside of the arena of Portland. And so you're going to see some typical uh, violin, mandolin, guitar, a couple other instruments. Very traditional bluegrass music will be played. Great. Um, um, a couple of originals will be played by some of the bands, but they'll stick pretty much to the great 
bluegrass format and with the traditional bluegrass instruments. Great. So I hope you get a great crowd on Monday, May 14th, right? That's correct. At Longfellow Square. Yes. And this is uh, to benefit WMPG. Totally to benefit WMPG for the 10th year. A great radio station that we have in this wonderful city of Portland. Dynamite. That sounds great. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much.